No one should be surprised if Russia instigates a provocation or incident, then tries to use it to justify military intervention, hoping that by the time the world realizes the ruse, it'll be too late. Without getting into too much detail, we do have information that uh, indicates that Russia uh, is already working actively to create a pretext for a, pot for a potential invasion, for, a, you know, a, a move on Ukraine. Um, in fact, we have information that they've prepositioned a, a group of operatives uh, to conduct what we call a false flag operation, um, uh, an operation uh, designed to look like an attack on them or their people or Russian-speaking people uh, in Ukraine, um, again, as an excuse to, to go in. Last week, I believe in here, you said that you, the assessment still was that a Russian invasion is imminent. That's the word that you'd used before, that other officials have used, and you used it last week. But yesterday, the ambassador to the United Nations, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, said she would not use the word imminent. She said she does not think a Russian invasion of Ukraine is imminent. So I guess we just need some clarification on where that assessment stands right now. I used that once. I think others have used that once. And then we stopped using it because I think it sent in, uh, a message that we weren't intending to send, which was that we knew that President Putin had made a decision. I would say the vast majority of times I've talked about it, we said he could invade at any time. That's true. We still don't know that he's made a decision. Using that word, I think purpose. I used it once last week. But the decision now is that you're not describing it as imminent anymore. I haven't in over a week. Okay. First of all, you know we've discussed this idea of false flags by the Russians before. We've made no secret of that, um, uh, and we do have information uh, that it is that, that that the Russians are likely to want to fabricate a pretext uh, for an invasion, uh, which again is right out of their playbook. Uh, one option. Uh, is uh, the Russian government, uh, we, we think, is planning to stage a fake attack uh, by Ukrainian military or intelligence forces against Russian sovereign territory uh, or against Russian-speaking people uh, th to therefore justify their action. Uh, as part of this um, fake attack, uh, we believe that Russia would produce a very graphic propaganda video, uh, which would include corpses. Um, and actors that would be depicting mourners uh, and images of destroyed locations uh, and, as well as military equipment uh, at the hands of U Ukraine or the West, even to the point where is, uh, some of this equipment would be to made, made to look like it was Western-supplied Ukrainian, uh, you know, to Ukraine equipment. Good afternoon. We have previously noted our strong concerns regarding Russian disinformation and the likelihood that Moscow might create, seek to create, a false flag operation to initiate military activity. Now, we can say that the United States has information that Russia is planning to stage fabricated attacks by Ukrainian military or intelligence forces as a pretext for a further invasion of Ukraine. One possible option the Russians are considering, and which we made public today, involves the production of a propaganda video, a video with graphic scenes of false explosions depicting cor corpses, crisis actors pretending to be mourners, and images of destroyed locations or military equipment, entirely fabrica fabricated by Russian intelligence. To be clear, the production of this propaganda video is one of a number of options that the Russian government is developing as a fake pretext to initiate and potentially justify military aggression against Ukraine. We don't know if Russia will necessarily use this or another option in the coming days. We are publicizing it now, however, in order to lay bare the extent of Russia's destabilizing actions towards Ukraine and to dissuade Russia from continuing this dangerous campaign and ultimately launching a military attack. Russia has signaled it's willing to continue diplomatic talks as a means to de-escalate, but actions such as these suggest otherwise. We will continue to diligently work together with our allies and partners to expose Russian disinformation and other hybrid tactics used against Ukraine. We continue to work to prevent any effort Moscow might make to justify further military action in Ukraine. We again urge Russia to stop its destructive and destabilizing disinformation campaign, to de-escalate tensions, and to engage in diplomacy and dialogue for a peaceful solution. Thank you. Uh, okay, well, that's a, quite a mouthful there. Um, 
so you said actions such as these suggest otherwise suggest meaning that they suggest they're not interested in talks and they're going to go ahead with some kind of offer. what action are you talking about one the actions i've just pointed to uh the what fact action what? The, the fact that russia continues to engage uh in disinformation well, uh, you, know, you made an allegation that they might do that. Have they actually done it? Uh, what we know, Matt, is what we what I have just said that they have engaged in this activity, well, uh, in this planning well, activity. Well, what but, activity. But let me let me because because obviously this is not this is not the first time we've made uh, these reports public. You'll remember that just a few well, weeks I, ago. I'm sorry, you, made, made, made what report public? If you let me finish, I will okay. tell you what report we made okay. public. Uh, we told you a few weeks ago that we have information indicating Russia also has already prepositioned a group of operatives to conduct a false flag operation in eastern Ukraine. So that, Matt, to your question, is an action that Russia has already well, taken. It's an action that you say that they have taken, but you have shown no evidence to, 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 to confirm that. And I'm going to get to the next question here, which is, what is the evidence that they, I mean, this is like crisis actors, really? This is like Alex Jones territory you're getting into now. Um, what evidence do you have to support the idea that there is some propaganda film in the, in, in the making? Matt, this is derived uh, from information known to the U.S. government, intelligence information that we have declassified. I think you well, know. Okay, well, where, where is it? Where, where is this information? It is intelligence information that we have declassified. Well, where is it? Where is the declassified information? I just delivered it. But, no, you made a series of allegations and would statements. You, would you like us to print it out the topper? Because you will see a transcript of this briefing that you can print out for but yourself. That's not evidence, Ned. That's you saying it. That's not evidence. I'm sorry. <laughs> what would you like, Matt? I, I would like to see some proof that you, that, 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 that you can show that... that Matt, you have that, been that, that shows you, that 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 you, shows that the Russians are doing this. Ned, I've been doing this for. A I long know that time. was my point. As, you as, you as have you, know. you you have been doing this for quite a while. You know Ned, that when we declassify intelligence that's information, right. and I we do so in, in a means. In we do and so. I, and, we do so with an eye to that, protecting that sources and methods. Is not going to fall. I, I remember a lot of things. So where, where where is the declassified information other than you coming out here and saying? Matt, I'm sorry you don't like the format, uh, but we have it's declassified. It's not the format; it's the content. I'm it, sorry you don't like the content. I'm sorry you. I'm sorry like you are doubting this. the information that is in the possession of the U.S. government. No, I, I, what I'm telling you is that this is information that's available to us. We are making it available to you uh, in order uh, for a couple reasons. One is to attempt to deter the Russians from going ahead with this activity. Two, in the event we're not able to do that, in the event the Russians do go ahead with this, to make it clear as day, to lay bare the fact that this has always been an attempt on the part of the Russian Federation to fabricate a pretext. Yeah, but you don't have any, any evidence to back it up other than what you're saying. It's like you're saying, we think we, we, we have information that the Russians may do this. But you won't tell us what the information well, is. That, and then when, when, that, when you're that, asked, that, that is the idea behind when, deterrence, Matt. When, when, that is the idea behind asked, deterrence. And when it is asked, our hope that the Russians don't go forward with this. And when you're asked what the information is, you say, I just gave it to you. But that, that's not what... You, you seem not to not understand, you seem not to no, no, understand no, the idea of deterrence. Understand. We are you trying to not deter to the, the Russians of... from moving forward with this type of activity. That is why we're making it public today. If the Russians don't go forward with this, that is not... Uh, ipso facto, an indication that they never had plans to do so. Uh, but then it's unprovable. <laughs> I mean, my God, what is the evidence that you have that suggests that, that, that the Russians are even planning this? Matt, you, I mean, I'm not you, saying that they're not, but you just come out and say this and expect us just to, to, to believe it without you showing a shred of evidence that it's actually true. Other than when I ask, or when anyone else asks, what's the information? You said, well, I just gave it to you, which was just you making a statement. Matt, you said yourself, you've been in this business for quite a long time. You know that when we make information, uh, intelligence information public, we do so uh, in, a, in a way that protects sensitive sources and methods. You also know that we do so, we declassify information only when we're confident in that information. Wait, Ned, if you doubt, if you doubt the, the credibility of the U.S. government, of the British government, uh, of other governments, and want to uh, you know, find uh, solace in information that uh, the solace? Russians are putting out. Uh, that is, uh, <laughs> that is for to, you to do. I'm not asking what, what the Russian government is putting out. And, and what, do you mean, what is it supposed to be? The video because you 
officials are describing uh, very specific scenes, but do they actually have a video? The, the fact that we are able to go into such great detail, uh, obviously I'm not going to spell out what is in our possession, but I will leave, uh, I will leave it to you. Uh, I will leave that to your, uh, to your judgment. There, your there are no facts that you've spelled out. One last thing. Like, I, I, I'm not buying into Russian propaganda, but I'm also not going to buy into an, I'm not accusa asking you an to... accusation. Yes, you are. You're saying the proof is that I just said it. So let me just appeal to you on behalf of all of us in the American people and the people of the world and the Russian people and the Ukrainian people. One piece of evidence to suggest that the Russians are planning to use crisis actors to stage a false mass casualty event to use as a pretext. Just one piece, okay? And not you or Kirby or Jen or John Finer or Jake saying this is what is so. And then you turning around and saying, "Well, because we said it, it's a fact." So let me one let, piece of let me one make, piece of verifiable evidence. Let, let me make let me make a, a couple broad points, and I I, I acknowledge this will probably unset, be unsatisfactory to you in the moment, uh, but uh, here's what I think you know, uh, what I certainly know, uh, what everyone here knows. There are a hundred thousand Russian troops encircling Ukraine right now. Uh, approaching Ukraine's borders, close to the borders. There are thousands of Russian troops uh, with the potential for some 30,000 Russian troops to stream in to Belarus. Uh, all of these forces are positioned, could well be positioned if Putin makes that decision uh, to uh, engage on Ukraine in a coordinated assault. Uh, we also know uh, that the Russians have resorted to these tactics in the past, uh, have uh, developed a remarkably similar playbook in 2014, amassed troops, uh, engaged in 2014, it is a historical fact, uh, engaged in disinformation and propaganda to paint Ukraine as the aggressor, uh, fabricated a pretext for an invasion, and went in. So with what we know from eight years ago, with what we have seen, you and I both have seen, everyone has seen, with what we have heard eight years ago, in the ensuing eight years, uh, and in recent weeks. Um, it seems to me that uh, it should not be outlandish uh, that the Russians may be uh, engaging well, in this okay, activity fine, but not again. being outlandish doesn't mean that you have any proof that it's, that it's happening the second point, or being the second planned. Point, the Hold second on, point. Ned, you can't just, all of that may very well be true, probably is true, okay? But it doesn't provide any evidence of what you're alleging now, which is that they're planning this mass fake mass casualty event with quote unquote crisis actors, which is something that, you know, in the US, we rarely hear outside of the kind of, you know, nutty conspiracy theory um, uh, crowd. Well, to be to be clear, we're not alleging what the United States is doing. Uh, this is information available to us, no, no, what the Russians are up to. I understand your point, but I just you, want to- uh, You do, because I mean, uh, you're treading into, serious waters here and, and 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 if you can't provide any evidence other than well I said so and so it's a fact that's a problem Matt there's a second point uh, this is derived from intelligence intelligence in which uh, we well, have confidence we in which we have confidence otherwise confidence you had in, in otherwise in WMD uh, otherwise Iraq? otherwise I mean, what, what? otherwise we would not be making it public in the way we are uh, but here's here's the other point um, Intelligence and evidence, uh, these are two separate things. Uh, it is uh, yeah, no- but you're, but you're saying it's a fact and that, it, that you have proof and then you can't offer any proof and to, to, to show that it's fact, I'll drop it. But I think we Thank should you. move on. Yeah.